Hey ya, we're Cozzy and Mitro. Welcome aboard our sailing ocean life. If you stayed awake long enough to get through to the end of our last episode, well done. We won't be offended if you were lulled into a blissful calm sleep with all the slow sailing we endured. Wake up! This week we're excited to take you with us as we do a speed tour of the Kimberley. These majestic mountain ranges were formed over 1,800 million years ago, when as a separate landmass it collided with ancient Pilbara and Yilgarn. It's crazy to see the evidence of this in the King Leopold Ranges, where you can see the impact as massive mountains were thrown up by the collision. The Kimberley are such an extraordinary place. They hold a treasure trove of vital information about Australia's past, with loads of amazing Aboriginal rock art, fish fossils and dinosaur footprints, making the Kimberley a fossil expert's paradise. But the Kimberley are also known for their curious and sometimes troublesome crocodiles, fierce currents and huge tidal ranges, some reaching up to 9 metres. Um, you've seen how the tides got the better of us in Broome, right? So what has the Kimberley got in store for us? Thanks for joining us on this journey. Check out how much current there is. Look at this, there's like a whirlpool. We're going into a whirlpool. That's that much current. That's crazy. Oh, Oh my gosh, our first crocodile, just here. Ah, or it could be a stick. Crazy, look at the carrot line. Oh, there's our croc. <laughs> we were excited for a minute, weren't we, honey? And just like that, we're at the Kimberleys. It's pretty cool. Crazy. As we sail through the Kimberleys, I have to pinch myself again. Uh, you know, not even 12 weeks ago, I was in ICU after having half my liver removed. And we don't really like to go on and on about um, the cancer and, and you know, me having it <laughs> but I just wanted to give you a quick health update so um, obviously if you are not aware that um, I was diagnosed with I think it's grade one habit uh, oh god I can never bloody remember the name anyway I'll put it down below so just before Christmas went home had a health check, found a six, seven meter tumor in my liver. Um, probably like three months later, got half my liver removed. So um, my lifestyle hasn't really changed that much, except obviously I don't drink alcohol anymore. <laughs> or if I do, it's really minimal if I can help it. It's really hard because it's sort of our way of life, you know, you get to a new anchorage, you turn your ice machine on at about three and then, you know, you crack open some gin and tonic and settle in for the night and, you know, it's sort of like very much ingrained in our sailing ocean life. But it's the best thing for me, obviously, for my liver to get it back to um, full repair now. It will take 12 months to grow back, so it actually, you can have heaps removed and it will still grow back, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just taking it easy. I tell you what though, the rally will be very hard because um, every occasion will be 
alcohol related so I'll just have to drink heaps of water which is what I'm doing now. I've started yoga which is really good for my core strength and my flexibility and um, you've just got to be really nimble being on a yacht because especially Ocean Lady because she's got lots of up and downs and stairs and and you know if you're not used to it when I first got back on the yacht after being having the cancer removed my hips started to hurt and I was taking Voltaren and then you know that occurred you know taking medication and other things happen like um, side effects of it so I really didn't want to be taking it so um, the yoga helps with that it helps <sighs> grounds you <laughs> Um, the scar and wound, there's obviously still swelling and it's really unattractive. So I try and sort of keep it covered so I don't horrify people. <laughs> Not really quite fine to show people, but it, it is pretty gross. Anyway, moving right along. We have done an overnight sale, didn't take much footage because it was just pretty much exactly the same thing beautiful beautiful area we have now arrived at the Kimberleys would you believe it we're 500 nautical miles from Darwin which is our goal and we've got about three weeks to get there because I've got an MRI scan due on the 23rd of June so I'm gonna see if I can get that done in Darwin otherwise I will be flying home Sort of secretly between us. I really want to because I'd love to see my daughters and Murphy. I miss to move. Ah, and my family, my beautiful, beautiful Donald's Angels. Beautiful people. Love you. Love you, love you. Anyway, so that was it. I've rambled. I've dribbled. I've dribbled with Cozzy. Ah, but yeah, I just feel very blessed and grateful to be on the ocean. And oh, another thing I do need to tell you is we're both a little bit nervous. Well, I am pretty scared actually because Kimberley's has massive, massive currents and tides of up to like nine meters. So we're venturing into this knowing that the risks have increased considering we don't have reverse on either of our motors. Um, which is not great and very scary in case, you know, what happens if we get caught in a car? Anyway, so many things can happen. I'm just trying not to worry because we just have to deal with things as they come. Not worry about them if they, if they happen. Last night was pretty epic with the currents, but this morning was beautiful and it's the risks and the fear and the stress involved in sailing, it's beautiful. in front of us What a view! Hey crocodiles!
everything the same. Check it out, in the old generator. Fine battery now. Welcome. Thank you for coming to Cozzy's Kimberley Day Spa. We hope you enjoy your treatment today. Please take a seat and wait. One of our assistants will come and show you through to your spa shortly. Thank you for coming. Oh, thanks very much, Cozzy. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I've never had a spa like this before, so I'm just gonna sure I'm gonna really relax, chill out, and enjoy it. Thanks so much. Let me show you the chair now. Oh, thank you. White clothes and red dust don't really go well, do they, Mitro? Mm -hmm. Give me a little washing in my Yankee Doodle Cozzy Cozzy. We love you guys. What is that? Um, just filling up our water bottles, our drinking water, because this is like pure, bloody um, drinking water out of them, and like an aquifer under the ground, so it's very pure. Uh, I'm filling up our water bowl to take back to the boat for our tank to all full. Oh, we took some water to drink, eh? That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Unique experience, wouldn't you say? Very. Ah, I don't know when we've ever sat in a water tank with a infinity pool and washed our clothes, had a shower, face mask. It's really nice. Yeah, this is where you fill your yacht. There's a little hose. Amazing. Oh, that was us there. Can't really see it. The Kimberley Current. We've heard so much about Crocodile Creek, and we won't get time to go check it out this time here. We tender over to a little reconnaissance mission so we know what we have to deal with when we come here next time. Who, who was the first person that did this? They're very brave. Oh, there's the ladder. So there's the top of the ladder that ends up being all exposed. How cool you can have like a party here. We have just spent a lot of time in water. So we don't particularly want to have another swim. But this is the perfect place to swim. 
there's no crops and it looks so beautiful I'm tempted I don't think we can stay here long because of the tides going out but it is super tempting how beautiful check it out This is next level amazing. Look how much that ladder has come up. Morning! Gosh, it's so still. And beautiful. Look at the cruise boats and tour, tour companies out there. radioing them up but there was no one there. Kimberley's. This is cool. Very literally cool. We're leaving the not so sunny Kimberley's today. It's really overcast. It's pouring rain this morning. Uh, we're not quite sure where we're going, but we're just going to sail until we find a safe anchorage. Definitely do an overnighter. Uh, we're about 500, 497 nautical miles from Darwin. So we've got a bit of distance to travel and we've just got to keep on the move. It's a shame because the Kimberleys are some place we'd really love to spend a lot more time but we're hoping to come back here next year. So it's pretty spectacular and we've really enjoyed our time here but we have to get going. Such a shame, everyone thinks we're mad. Yeah, how much do you reckon we'll knock off? I'll try and get 100, well the island I've got marked is 100 miles. Island in the Kimberleys and we've heard there's some amazing Aboriginal art here so we're gonna go take a little bit of an explore and it is freaking warm like whew, uh, crocs around here no swimming and the tides are nine meters so Micho's got to do some magic with the tender so we'll be where we need it when we come back yes come with us <laughs> 